The King's Avatar, Chapter 1551, An Unexpected Counter, Audio Source, WusharWorldAudioBook.com. Chapter 1551, An Unexpected Counter. Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami. I will win. This declaration could not be any more sincere. It was what all pro players seeked. These three plain and simple words didn't give rise to much of a reaction though. Fang Rui laughed indifferently. Ha, you'll win. You haven't asked me yet. No answer. Sure enough, Song Qing acted the same way as he did in the fourth round of the regular season. He ignored any meaningless words. But just because he ignored him didn't mean that he didn't see them. Last time, Fang Rui didn't stop talking just because he was ignored, and it was the same this time. His trash talk wasn't as dense as Huang Shaoshan's, but his ability to provoke people was no worse. Would Song Qing be affected by his trash talk? No one knew. They could only see that Song Qing's river sunset continued with the decision that he had made in the beginning, and kept moving forward. Soon, the two characters met in the center. Fang Rui had also chosen to cut straight to the center. Strikers could only fight at a close range, but Chi Masters had decent mid-range options. Thus, the first to act was Fang Rui. Chi Bullet. The damage dealt by this skill wasn't high, and it didn't have any crowd control effects. It was mostly used as a harassment skill to probe how the opponent would react. Fang Rui often aimed this skill directly at the opponent's face. Then, by taking advantage of the Qi bullet blocking the opponent's vision, he would follow with another attack. This time was no exception. The Qi bullet flew directly towards River Sunset's face. Fang Rui quickly predicted where his Song Qing's dead angles would be located as well as what he might do in response. Move. Boundless C immediately moved into a different position and followed with another attack. Then, he saw River Sunset swing his fists. Pa! The Qi bullet suddenly exploded into a hazy mist. The dead angle that Fang Rui had originally anticipated was now no longer a dead angle. Song Qing's River Sunset had unexpectedly used a Qi bullet too. He fired it at Boundless C's Qi bullet, blocking it. You'll even bicker with your senior over something like this. Fang Rui had lost his opportunity to seize the initiative, but he wasn't going to miss an opportunity to talk trash. His plan had clearly been disrupted, but he sounded like everything was going as expected. Just when he found a new angle to attack from, he saw a fist quickly pierce through the haze. Pa! The punch hadn't landed yet, but the impact between the fist and the air let out a crisp ring. River Sunset had stepped forward and used a collapsing fist right in front of Boundless Sea. Fang Rui was startled and immediately had Boundless Sea stop. The collapsing fist had been on point. The timing and placement had predicted Fang Rui's actions perfectly. Boundless Sea had nearly walked right into the punch. A coincidence. As soon as Fang Rui had this thought, he immediately knew that it wasn't a coincidence. Because River Sunset had followed with another punch. Such fluid and decisive movements didn't seem like something he had come up with on the spot. This was a well-practiced sequence of movements. The other side had specifically practiced for his chi bullet. Fang Rui realized this point and felt even more surprised. To put it simply, the Qi master technique that he had created was difficult to execute with meager results. Up until now, apart from him, no other Qi master had bothered to learn it. It wasn't because Qi masters looked down on Fang Rui's dirty methods, but rather that it wasn't anything incredible. It was just a small trick. Spending so much time to study and practice a small trick wasn't worth it. However, the tyranny player in front of him had specifically practiced to counter this small trick. This wasn't a situation that Fang Rui had anticipated. It was a very difficult but not very effective trick that other players didn't bother to learn. 
However, Fang Rui was happy to do so. This was where his cunning lay. It was precisely because this small trick was troublesome to learn that Fang Rui was certain that no one would study and analyze it too deeply. Because of this reason, the effectiveness of the trick became much greater. But right now, this young tyranny player had unexpectedly analyzed it and come up with a counter. Fang Rui was surprised. The thoughts of the new generation. Was he not able to see through them? Cloud body, straight punch, stomach kick. River sunset completed all of these attacks in one breath. Fang Rui hadn't expected anyone to study and come up with a counter to his trick. This time, it backfired on him. After his trick failed him, he was now in a very disadvantageous position. Under River Sunset's fierce assault, he had no choice but to retreat. Trash talk. Right now, Fang Rui really wanted to, but he didn't have the time. Four classes comprised the fighter superclass. Chi Masters were the weakest out of them in close combat capabilities. Now that River Sunset had completely closed the distance between them, Boundless Sea was in a precarious situation. Many Chi Master skills required cast times to gather up Chi. With a striker punching and kicking him, how could he have any time to prep any skills? Fang Rui could only have Boundless Sea swing his fists as well, dodging, blocking, and waiting for an opening. But River Sunset's attacks were tight-knit and thought out. His rhythm was on point. There was no opening to be seen. Song Qing didn't look like a rookie. Of the strikers in the pro circle, even strikers who had played the class for three years might not be able to do this. This is bad. This is very bad. I'm not going to lose like this, am I? Fang Rui had thought of the worst-case scenario. If River Sunset could keep this up, there was no way for him to take back the initiative. Retreat. 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 Soon, Boundless Sea had nowhere to run to. Behind him was boiling lava. Am I really not able to do anything? Fang Rui was furious, but who could he blame? He had put himself into this predicament. He hadn't underestimated Song Qing, but he hadn't thought of him highly enough. After his Chi Bullet trick was broken through, he had even added in a few words to taunt him. It was because of these extra words that he had lost too much focus. If he had been paying more attention to his opponent's actions, perhaps he might have noticed River Sunset's attack. If he had noticed it just a bit earlier, perhaps he wouldn't be in this situation. Unfortunately, the present Fang Rui had no choice but to solve the issue of Song Qing forcing him into the lava if he wasn't able to break out. Left, right, front, above. Was there really no way out? The options available to him seemed to be covered by River Sunset's attacks. Pa. River Sunset finally landed a punch. In the end, it was because Fang Rui was unable to find an opening and had no way to dodge the punch. He kept leaning backwards. Previously, he could step back to steady himself again. But if he stepped back now, he would step into lava and take massive amounts of damage. However, from the perspective of the viewers, whether or not he took the step didn't make much of a difference. There was only one possibility, Boundless Sea would fall into the lava. If Song Qing defended the shore, he would likely win with a huge lead. If that happened, the likelihood of him beating Happy's next player increased drastically. A comeback from tyranny didn't seem so impossible anymore. For a moment, all of the tyranny fans were thinking of this scenario. To them, this fight was already over. In the end, Boundless Sea took the step backwards. Facing this sort of attack, any pro player would instinctively retreat to try and avoid the follow-ups. Only the lava was behind him though, and Boundless Sea slid into the lava. Oh 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 oh. The tyranny crowd gave their victory cheer. They thought that the fight was over. 
but very very few people noticed that as Boundless C fell, his two arms extended out in front of him. After the lower half of his body sunk into the lava, he slammed his hands down on the ground. Land mine quake. Facing a dire situation, Fang Rui made a sudden move in response to River Sunset's attack. As he fell, he made his counter-attack. His two palms slammed into the ground, sending out a powerful shockwave. River Sunset, who was standing right in front, would take the brunt of it. Fang Rui was planning on using this opportunity to get out of the lava. WashaWorldAudio.com But before Boundless Sea could even jump, River Sunset was already in the air. Everyone had already thought that Song Qing's victory was set in stone. Song Qing didn't think the same though. His opponent still had 63% of his health left. How was his victory set in stone? He continued to closely follow Boundless Sea's movements. Very few people had noticed Boundless Sea extending out his arms as he fell, but Song Qing was one of them. When the landmine quake came down, River Sunset jumped up. Then, thousand ton drop. Landmine quake's shockwave would damage River Sunset, it wouldn't be able to knock him away because of the thousand ton drop. River Sunset was like a mountain as he pressed down, blocking Boundless Sea's escape. From this close distance, Fang Rui could see this young character clearly, while his surroundings seemed to lose their color. The eighth round of the group arena. Fang Rui lost, Song Qing won. It wasn't close either. Tyranny had already been celebrating long beforehand. The victory from Song Qing instantly brought Tyranny back from the brink of death. After his fight with Fang Rui, River Sunset still had 79% of his health left. He definitely had a chance of beating Happy's final player. With Tyranny's fans riled up, they began booing at their opponents. Because Happy's previous few players had played spectacularly, they had no way to boo them. But with Fang Rui, they had an opportunity. Even though Lin Jingyan hadn't done too well on his turn, they could at least accept his efforts. But Fang Rui, all they saw was a careless fool. Maybe that was a method of getting the opponent to become numb to his fights, but in this match, it was the reason why he had lost. Fang Rui returned to happy seats amidst the boos. Fang Rui's expression seemed somewhat unnatural when he faced his teammates. You suck. You got destroyed by a rookie. Ye Zhu was merciless. Disgusting. Wei Chen followed. In these situations, the only way you'll be forgiven is if you go on your knees and beg for mercy, steamed, Ban also added. He wasn't really talking to Fang Rui though. He was talking to Qiao Yivan, Luo Ji, and An Wen Yi, the other rookies. It was more like him watching a show and making a comment. Fuck, it wasn't that bad, Fang Rui said. I'll go to a corner and reflect back on what happened. Quote, After saying these words, he put his hands behind his head and crouched down at the corner, reviewing the fight. Hey, this. Chen Guo felt like it wasn't quite appropriate. Let him reflect on it. Yi Xu didn't stop him. Instead, he looked towards Happy's final player. Their huge lead had been reduced to this extent. The side being caught up would be under great pressure. But Happy's next player didn't seem to mind. It's finally my turn. Tang Ro exclaimed, End chapter. The King's Avatar, Chapter 1552 Wrestling Along the Shore, Audio Source, WushaWorldAudioBook.com Chapter 1552, Wrestling Along the Shore Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami Tang Ro walked onto the stage. Tyranny's fans very much admired this controversial player. Her style possessed the fearlessness that they liked to see. In comparison, while their rookies, Chin Muyun and Song Qing, were outstanding as well, they never felt quite right. Right now, Tang Ro would be playing against Song Qing in the group arena's final battle. 
how could they root against him and destroy their own morale? As Tang Ro walked to the stage, she was met with much noise. Tang Ro ignored them. After the referee went over how she would leave the stage after the group arena was over, she went into the designated player booth. It was the deciding battle. If she won, she would put a halt to the opponent's momentum. All of these factors only made Tang Ro's fighting spirit rise even higher. What's more, the two had fought the deciding battle in last round's group arena. In that match, Tang Ro's soft mist had started with less health. Even though she was able to catch up quite a bit, in the end, she still lost to Song Qing. What about this round? Song Qing's River Sunset had 79% of his health left. This time, it was Song Qing who would be starting with less health. In the past Tang Ro wouldn't have cared about her lead. But now, after experiencing the pro scene for herself and seeing how Howard the pro players worked for the sake of winning, Tang Ro could no longer be indifferent about it. Because this victory no longer concerned just herself. This lead had been earned through the efforts of the four previous players. Indifferent. That would be disrespectful to their efforts. She couldn't ignore this lead. She should try her hardest to protect it. As soon as the match began, Tang Ro's soft mist rushed out. She went straight for the center like Fang Rui did last round. However, in comparison to Fang Rui, everyone felt like Tang Ro had a different energy to her. Tang Ro's battle mage looked grand and imposing. On the other hand, Fang Rui's chi master had been ruined. His chi master looked like he was dying. Applause. Happy's fans wanted to show their support in this deciding round and started cheering for their team. But in the blink of an eye, Tyranny's fans overwhelmed him with their cheers for Song Qing. Song Qing also went straight for the center. The lava covered a large portion of the map, and because of how open the terrain was, taking a roundabout path didn't have much value. Song Qing wasn't a player who liked to beat around the bush. There didn't seem to be any reason for him to circle around even if he only had a fifth of his health left. Soon, the two sides met. Song Qing's river sunset immediately slowed down his footsteps. Tang Ro's soft mist. She continued to charge forward. As expected of someone with that sort of personality and playstyle. Song Qing sighed. Tang Ro's thought process was too easy for Tyranny's players to predict. They had practically grown up seeing this sort of playstyle. Dragon Tooth. Soft Mist thrust her spear, dancing fire flowing flames, and it nipped at River Sunset like a viper. River Sunset swiftly backed away, dodging the Dragon Tooth and putting a distance of two steps between them. But this distance of two steps was instantly traversed by Soft Mist, double stab. Her spear flew out along nearly the same route as the Dragon Tooth. River Sunset retreated again, dodging the first stab. At the same time, he crossed his hands, welcoming the second stab. Empty-handed blade block. Facing Tang Ro's fierce assault, Song Qing suddenly chose a forceful response after retreating twice. Why? The lava three steps away from him could be the answer. Was it because she had nowhere left to escape to? People who thought this might want to recall that Song Qing had chosen on his own initiative to retreat, which was what led River Sunset into this situation. How did he respond? Empty-handed blade block. This move wasn't purely defensive. It relied on the system to block the attack and then turned it into a throw. There were many options for the throw. In this current situation, a practice striker could easily use the throw to send his opponent into the lava three steps away. This was Song Qing's true purpose. It was a response filled with bravery and confidence. He had courage too. It was just that it differed in the way that Tyranny's fans were familiar with. His courage had many schemes. 
rapidly retreat three times to bait the opponent into chasing after him. He didn't hurry to use empty-handed blade block. Instead, he waited for second hit from double stab. The execution difficulty was higher, but it also made it harder for the opponent to react. Song Qing succeed. River Sun sets hands locked soft mist spear into place. Without any hesitation, the throw followed the block. He twisted his body, and soft mist was thrown towards the lava. Only three skills had been used so far in their battle, yet one of the players was about to fall into the lava. With this fall, Happy's lead would likely be destroyed. Fast and fierce. TSKTSKTSK. Those who didn't think highly of Happy clicked their tongues. But as Soft Miss flew out, she thrust out her dancing fire-flowing flames. The instant river sunset threw Soft Mist using empty-handed blade block, her spear became free and stabbed towards river sunset. This was the fastest counter-attack she could do after being hit by empty-handed blade block. River Sunset retreated as fast as he could, but he was still too slow. He was backing away from Soft Mist, but her spear had already struck his chest. Circle Swing The airborne Soft Mist swung her arms, and River Sunset was launched into the air. There was nothing he could do against a grab skill. Splash! Splash! The two characters had fallen into the lava simultaneously. However, River Sunset had been thrown deeper into the lava than Soft Mist. Only four skills had been exchanged between the two of them. One person falling into the lava. Wrong. The outcome was far bolder than they could have imagined. And this situation was much more unfavorable for Song Qing, who had started with less health to begin with. As a result, as soon as he hit the bottom of the lava, he immediately rolled. He need to hurry and pull away and get River Sunset onto the shore. Since he was already in the lava, he might as well use it to hide his role. Tang Ro's situation was much less dire than Song Qing's. She had the health advantage, so she wasn't afraid of a fight in the lava. Plus, she was closer to the shore than River Sunset, and she would have an easier time getting out. A normal player might think of using this advantage to get to the shore first and establish an invincible position. Tang Ro thought the same. It was just that her method of doing such was more aggressive. Shattering the lands. She had Soft Mist use a high-level skill to directly leap out of the lava. The flames clung to Soft Mist, making her seem like a gigantic fireball, as she crashed towards the shore. The shockwave of magic erupted outwards. Not only did it the waves thrash violently, it created a deep crater on the shore, which suddenly sunk down towards the lava. Song Qing had thought that Tang Ro would get to shore first and defend the area to prevent him from getting out. As a result, he had River Sunset circle around from the bottom of the lava. He would take more damage from the lava, but it was more likely that he would be able to get out of the lava safely. He hadn't thought that Tang Ro would make such a huge movement while on land. River Sunset was in the range of the shockwave from shattering the lands. He could suddenly feel his character sway left and right, and knew that the situation wasn't good. The violent waves would better hide him though. Song Qing wanted to use this chance to quickly get back onto land, when the land that he was about to jump onto suddenly collapsed. Having just jumped out of the lava, Song Qing's expression went ashen. His position had been exposed. The moment his feet landed on the ground, the ground began to crumble, and soft mist had come as well. There was nowhere to retreat. WashourWorldAudio.com his only choice was to fight. Despite swaying, River Sunset let out a steady step. His left hand trembled slightly, while his right hand made a punch. It seemed like a very normal and very slow straight punch, but everyone could feel how heavy the blow was. This was the striker's killing move, Emperor's Fist. 
It didn't look flashy, but the explosive damage contained within the first was something that no one dared to confront. No one dared to. That was why Song Qing believed that this attack would at least create an opening for him. Others might not, but Tang Ro dared to, or perhaps she simply didn't care what River Sunset was going to do. Soft Mist rushed forward. Dragon breaks the ranks. Dragon breaks the ranks couldn't be stopped. Behind River Sunset was lava, and even the ground beneath his feet might turn to lava any second. Tang Ro ignored all of this. Soft Mist rushed straight for River Sunset. She was clearly planning on bringing her opponent down in the lava with her, and it wasn't something that could be stopped. Boom. River Sunset's fist struck Soft Mist's spear. Emperor's fist versus dragon breaks the ranks. Which one was stronger? People had tested it. With both characters on equal levels, the answer was that the two skills were equal in a clash. The striker using Emperor's Fist better not think that he could hold his ground, and the battle mage using Dragon Breaks the ranks better not think that he could break past Emperor's Fist. But this sort of test was meaningless. The characters were different classes with different sets of equipment. In practice, it was impossible for the characters to be on the exact same level. Moreover, in real combat, there were a lot of factors in play that could affect skill priority. The characters themselves and their circumstances could all affect the outcome of a clash between two skills. In this clash, it seemed like River Sunset's Emperor's Fist had the advantage. Not only had Soft Mist's Dragon Breaks the ranks failed to break past him, Soft Mist had been knocked back by the punch. To think someone using Dragon Breaks the ranks would be forced to step back. It was truly a rare sight. But then again, for the characters struck by Emperor's Fist not to be blown away, the might of Dragon Breaks the ranks could also clearly be seen. River Sunset's Emperor's Fist had the advantage, but his situation wasn't much better. He had originally been standing on a crumbling ground. After the impact from the clash, the ground couldn't support him any longer, and half of River Sunset's body disappeared into the lava along with the ground. Song Qing immediately had River Sunset jump. In the end, this Emperor's Fist had given him an opening. But this small opening had already been exhausted with his jump. Before River Sunset could land back onto the ground, Song Qing saw Soft Mist's dancing fire flowing flames bare its fangs at him. Rising Dragon soars the sky. Soft Mist ferociously used this high-level attack as she was forced back. The momentum from Dragon Breaks the ranks was no small matter. Although Emperor's Fist had forced her back, she hadn't been stunned for too long from its impact, and she quickly went in pursuit. If the ground beneath River Sunset hadn't given out, he wouldn't have been in a dangerous spot. It was because of that dip into the lava that he need to make that jump. The opening that he had created had already been patched up by a rising dragon, and chapter, the king's avatar, chapter 1553 like a flag waving in the air, audio source, wushaworldaudiobook.com, chapter 1553, like a flag waving in the air, translator, Nomiyami editor, Nomiyami, reinforced iron bones, thousand ton drop, no good. None of these skills could allow him to tank the rising dragon soars the sky. That attack possessed grab priority, thus, it ignored super armor effects. Rising dragon soars the sky could only be dodged, not blocked. Eagle Stamp River Sunset stepped on the air, lifting himself up, but it wasn't enough. Just this slight increase in elevation wouldn't be enough to get out of Rising Dragon Soars the Sky's range. The Magic Dragon tore through the air as it opened its jaws to bite River Sunset. But right before it could clamp down its jaws, River Sunset suddenly stopped and twisted his body, whirlwind kick. This skill was not a movement skill, but it changed his posture. 
His two legs swept over the top of the dragon, when suddenly, the dragon twisted its head. Dragon raises its head. Everyone was astonished. This was Yi Xu's signature technique back in the day, but nowadays, the battle mages of the new generation were grasping it one after the other. First, it was Sun Xiang. Now, it was Tang Rou. The young will surpass the old. And in the glory competitive scene, it was this pursuit that made the scene flourish. Rising dragon soars the sky. Hit. The dragon clamped down on river sunset. Dazzling light engulfed him as the magic exploded. River sunset was launched into the air above the lava. When the skill ended, he fell into the lava. River sunset moved along with the tumultuous waves of lava. Quick recover and then jump out. Song King reacted extremely fast, not wasting a single second. River sunset no longer had the health to swim over to the faraway shore. Every second in the lava was a blow to him. Rising Dragon Saws the Sky had a long ending animation. During this time, he need to get back onto the shore. It was his only chance for a comeback. After he jumped, he was right next to the shore. With another jump, River Sunset was about to land back onto the shore. Soft Mist could only just start moving again. At a distance of several steps away, it wasn't possible for her to instantly reach River Sunset and intercept him. However, she could still send out magic chases. A blue and a purple ball of light shot towards River Sunset. The blue light was an ice chaser that had been created when she had used double stab. The purple light was a dark chaser that had been created when she landed circle swing. Tang Ro hadn't immediately used these chases, and now, it seemed like her decision had paid off. River Sunset was still mid-jump and couldn't dodge. The two chases exploded, and of these two chases, the ice chases CC went into effect. For every level in Ice Chaser, the Battle Mage's physical defense would increase by 2%. For a Battle Mage with Leather Armor proficiency, it wasn't too great of a buff. The Strength buff from Fire Chasers was far better, and the Attack Speed buff from Light Chasers was more useful. However, when the Ice Chaser hit the target, its CC effect was the best out of all five types of Chasers. The Ice Chaser stunned the target briefly and had a 50% chance of lowering the target's movement speed. This was the effect for a level 1 Ice Chaser, and it was already very useful. Taking advantage of River Sunset's stunned state, Soft Mist rushed forward. She thrust her spear, and the air began to crackle. 100 Dragon Meteor Strike. Countless Scarlet Spears appeared. It was too late for Song Qing to activate a super armor skill like reinforced iron bones. Right when River Sunset's stun wore off the spear reached him. Then, more attacks followed. As Soft Mist closed the distance, the attacks became more and more dense. Finally, she reached two steps away from River Sunset, she launched River Sunset into the air. Every attack from her carefully considered how the attack would affect the target. Despite needing to maintain a fast tempo, she was still able to accurately make these precise calculations. There was no doubt that Tang Ro deserved the title of best rookie this season. Pooh! 100 Dragon Meteor Strikers' final strike sent River Sunset at a new angle in the air. Droplets of blood dripped out from his flying figure. Who knew how much damage her combo had dealt to River Sunset? Now, the two were face to face. Soft mist dancing fire flowing flames leapt up, and a sky strike struck River Sunset, launching him into the air. Then, Draconic Crusher. Soft mist swung downwards like a spike, sending River Sunset crashing towards the lava. The high-priority Draconic Crusher sent River Sunset into the lava for a third time. The wave of lava created by the plunge from River Sunset was more than two people tall, reaching high enough to even splash onto soft mist. 
Tang Rou ignored the damage and followed with another attack. Cloud whirling windstorm. Her spear twisted, producing a whirlwind of magic that shot towards the lava, giving the attack an even deeper color. Scarlet flames swallowed river sunset, and there was nothing Song Qian could do. The previous draconic crusher had forced a knockdown. Until river sunset was flat on the ground, he wouldn't be able to move. The cloud of whirling windstorm mixed in with the lava, striking river, sunset and forced him flat on the bottom of the floor of lava. Roll. Song Qing immediately had river sunset roll, when he saw from up above, the dancing fire flowing flames in soft mists, hands descend like a bolt of lightning. Furious dragon strikes the heart. The successive strikes made it such that the surrounding lava pushed away was unable to return. An empty piece of ground was laid bare in the lava. River Sunset was rolling on the ground, when Soft Mist Spear stabbed through his heart and nailed him to the ground. The lava flooded back. In the blink of an eye, it engulfed River Sunset, who was bent like a small shrimp, and then Soft Mist, who had harpooned him. Glory. The winner had been determined. Tang Ro had won. Happy had won. And the one who won did it in the most flashy way possible. The scene made Tyranny's side feel awkward. When Soft Mist threw her spear downwards, River Sunset hung on the top of the spear like a shrimp. He almost looked like a flag waving in the air. When Song Qing walked out from the player booth, he saw his character hanging on the opponent's spear. Shameful. Song Qing felt a bit embarrassed, but he also knew that it was just Tang Ro seizing the opportunity to give the fatal blow. Tang Ro hadn't been trying to humiliate him on purpose. He was more concerned with the fact that he hadn't been able to win this deciding battle. He had failed to live up to everyone's expectations. This was what made him disappointed the most. The Tyranny fans weren't in high spirits. A striker losing to a battle mage was reminiscent of past pains. Han Wenking had lost to Ye Zhu in the first round, and in the fight between the symbols of the future of the two teams, they had also suffered a defeat. Song Qing had played well enough though. He had eliminated Happy's lead and brought Tyranny an opportunity to win. But in the end, Tyranny lost. WushaWorldAudio.com the final scene of River, Sunset hanging off of Soft Mist's spear only made the pain worse. Even so, when Song Qing walked down from the stage, they gave him their applause. They didn't want their future to lose hope. They would always encourage and cheer for their players. The concern shown by Tyranny's fans only made Song Qing feel even more ashamed. After returning to his teammates, he felt like he couldn't face them. Don't blame yourself. You played amazing out there. It was because we played poorly that we left too big of a burden on you, Lin Jingyan said. He had played the worst in the group arena today. Tyranny falling behind was practically his fault. As he consoled Song Qing, he also pushed the blame onto himself. You have to win next time. Han Wenqing didn't say too much and simply expressed his expectations in the future. Hmm. It's not too big of a problem, no. Losing by one point in the group arena is practically no different from even. Zhang Jiale felt that the atmosphere felt abnormally gloomy. He hoped that he could bring up everyone's spirits. There's still a difference. Zhang Xinji immediately retorted. Zhang Jiale was helpless. Their vice captain was too serious. Whether we lost by two points, by one point, by zero points, or if we win by one point, by two points, nothing changes, Han Wenqing said. We have to win, the team competition. Of course. That's obvious. Definitely. Tyranny reorganized their thoughts, ready to face the true deciding battle in today's match. As for Happy, Tang Rou's decisive victory had naturally given the team a boost to their morale, but they remained clear-headed in their excitement. 
Whether they truly won or lost this match depended on the following battle. The two teams stared at the screen in the stadium. The team competent map would be chosen soon. At the same time, there would be a simple description of it, allowing the two players to make arrangements to their lineup accordingly. Map choosing begin. The projection technology displayed a big question mark at the center of the stage, which kept on spinning. Ding! The crisp ring echoed through the stadium. The map had been chosen, and the electronic screen displayed the map's name, Seven Color Spring. At the center of the stage, the projection technology began to slowly reveal the structure of the map. The two teams immediately began to observe and discuss it up until the referee called for the two teams to come onto the stage. The crowd immediately quieted down. Everyone looked towards the two teams to see which of their six players would be sent onto the stage. They would know soon. First, it was tyranny. There was no fooling around. Practically the moment the referee called them over, six players stood up together and walked towards the stage. Dot. Han Wen King, Lin Jingyan, Zhang Jiale, Song Qing, Zhang Xinji, Qin Miyun, N Chapter.